We are back at a very familiar spot where we have Bitcoin hovering around 60,000, 61,000. Altcoins are also dipping, but today we're taking a look at some altcoins that do very well after a dip. We have some history to talk about, and we also have some narratives to look at because if you are continuing to dollar cost average in these dips, I do believe that is the best strategy going forward in this bull market. And on top of that, we have some top banks continuing to accumulate Bitcoin. So I don't think this bull market is anywhere close of being over. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and smash the like button. I truly appreciate all of your guys' support. It means the world. And on top of that, if you want even more value, well, check out the VIP Discord we have. You're going to get access to private sales. So the projects before they even launch to the public, you're also going to be able to see my buys and sells, get direct access to me and so much more. So check it out. There is a link in the description below. So as we can see from crypto bubbles, we have again altcoins in a dip right now. The fear and greed index is right around 55. People are still not sure what's happening with altcoins. They want to be rich overnight, but today we're taking a look at some altcoins that are bouncing very well when they dip. So again, just looking at the day for today, we have altcoins down anywhere from 5 to 10%. A few outliers, which we'll talk about if we take a look at the last week again most things are down except some of the outliers that we are again going to talk about now if we just switch our focus over to bitcoin and exactly what has happened here well we do see that over the day today we have gone from about sixty three thousand dollars all the way to sixty thousand dollars the low of the day was around sixty thousand one hundred and right now we're hovering around a sixty thousand eight hundred now of course you guys all remember just a few days ago the dip on a bitcoin that brought it to about fifty six thousand five hundred we may very well be heading in that direction but if we do, you can best believe that this level may act as support once again. If it does continue to go lower, we may go down to this $52,000 level. But again, we do have to break some key levels of support on Bitcoin before heading to that $52,000 level. So we do have some support still around that $60,000. We still have support around $56,500. So again, I don't see us crashing to that just yet. It may happen in the next few days or weeks, but I still see some strength on Bitcoin. Now, even if we see Bitcoin going lower and breaking these key levels of support on the downside, I still believe we are going to have a massive bull market and I still believe that Bitcoin is going to reach new all-time highs. So if we take a look at what's been happening around the world for Bitcoin and what institutions are doing, well, we can see that the largest US bank, JP Morgan Chase, discloses buying a spot Bitcoin ETF. So we now have banks that have literally said that, you know, Bitcoin was a scam they are now purchasing the Bitcoin ETF. So we have JP Morgan. If we go on to another bank, we have Wells Fargo, which is America's third largest bank. Of course, also disclosing spot Bitcoin ETF holdings. And on top of that, we have the EU Securities Authority exploring adding Bitcoin and crypto exposure to their 12 trillion pound investment market. So again, if you're telling me that, you know, Bitcoin is not going to be here in, you know, the next year, I completely disagree with that. And if you believe that Bitcoin is not going to reach an all time high, that is entirely your opinion. But we have so many institutions also investing in Bitcoin now. And we just had the Bitcoin halving. We haven't even come close to this supply shock. We are seeing the demand increase across the globe. And we all know that the Bitcoin supply just have, meaning that there is going to be a supply shock in my opinion. So if we take a look at crypto number one, we absolutely need to talk about render because We've been in render since about $2.20 and it's absolutely crazy that it's now at $11 sitting on a market cap of roughly $4.2 billion. But if we take a look at what render has been able to do over these last crypto dips, 
it's been recovering phenomenally well. And again, we're talking about the AI space, we're talking about gaming, we're talking about GPU, cloud, and I believe that this narrative alone is going to do so well in the next years to come because everything essentially needs a GPU and especially render, you know, decentralizing it and making it accessible to anyone who wants and uses a GPU power. They are definitely one of the leaders in this space. And if we just take a look at Render's chart, well, you guys all remember on May 1st or April 30th when we had the Bitcoin dip to about 56,500. Well, Render went all the way down to about $7 or $6.90. And what has happened since there? Well, it's gone absolutely parabolic, almost a 2x. We can see here that it did a 70% gain in the matter of just a few days. So again, we have a massive dip, a massive buying opportunity in my opinion. If you are bullish on these narratives for render, I do believe that if we do get another dip, let's say Bitcoin, you know, loses that $60,000 level, dips again, and we have render dipping as well, I would be looking at these levels for render. So of course, I don't think render is gonna go instantly back to $7. If it even goes back to it, you best believe I'm gonna be buying more, but we do have a few levels, in my opinion, for render, probably around $10.50 initially, then maybe around $9.40. But ultimately, we also have this moving day average. If we go on to the daily chart, we have it all the way in around $8.20. So if Render is able, you know, to go back sub $10, if we see Bitcoin continue to crash and continue to fall, well, I am definitely a believer in Render and I would be looking at, you know, continuing to accumulate my bag on Render in and around this $9.40 range. And even if it goes lower, well, all the better because as we can see, I had, you know, my initial buys on Render right around here, around this $2.25 range, which is absolutely crazy. And we do see that this moving day average, this 100-day EMA is continuously acting as a support. We did have, you know, a breakthrough here back on May 1st, but quickly after we see Render has bounced back, so if we were to see another test of that 100-day moving average, well, we'd be looking at about $8.25. Of course, this is going to continue going up as Render's price remains above it. Now, staying on the same line of thought and talking about another decentralized GPU cloud, we can talk about a cash network, ticker AKT. This is kind of Render's smaller brother, in my opinion. We can see it's sitting at about $5.85, a market cap of $1.4 billion, so still about three times smaller than Render. And if we take a look at the last month, well, it is up about 41%. So Akash and Render are definitely the leaders in the space right now for, again, AI gaming. We have this massive demand for GPU, and I just see that demand continuing to grow. So if we do the same thing here and take a look at Akash's chart, I want to go back to what happened when Bitcoin again went to 56500 because I want to be prepared to see where could the price go if we continue seeing crashes on Bitcoin. And you can do this with any of your charts. Just go back to the recent crash and understand where that altcoin went. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to go back there, but it gives you a rough idea of what could happen. So here on May 1st, we had a cash at about $3.70. And as we can see, a very similar move to render here over that crash. It went about up 70%, 66% to be exact. And right now we're still up about 54%. But again, if we have a cash dipping back, well, we do have some support right around this $5 level. And if we go on to that daily chart, well, we do have our 100 EMA right around $4.20. And as we can see, we definitely did go below it, but we definitely found support on it once again. So I would be a big believer that if a cash goes right back around $4.20, that would be an absolute steal in my opinion. Now, of course, these are not financial advice. This is just my opinion, what I am looking to do with my own money. 
and you guys can have a different thoughts and different coins that you want to buy so definitely don't let me persuade you in buying anything do your own research and invest the money that you are able to lose because you never know what could happen in crypto now moving on to coin at number three we can talk about a ton coin or ticker ton the open network this is a layer one blockchain and it's basically developed by telegram's team and this is an absolute huge project we're talking about a market cap of 23 billion dollars a fully diluted market cap of roughly 34 billion dollars but ton has shown some great strength over the last few days we can see that you know from a low of about four dollars and 80 cents back on may 1st during that crash to a high of roughly seven dollars and 15 cents so ton is definitely being talked about right now there is a lot of hype on it if we take a look at the monthly usage of telegram users we are talking about over 700 million active monthly users and even about 30 to 50 million users on a daily basis so the user base is definitely there for the ton network we do have here a geographic map showing where people are using telegram and if we take a quick look at ton's website here well as we said it is the open network for essentially everyone creators startups and so on and so forth it is of course designed by telegram they do have their own wallet so it's a non-custodial wallet and we have a lot of decentralized applications now building on a ton and to give you a few of those well we do have the not coin which is gaining a whole lot of popularity recently we have a cat citizen we have web blix and Redo token a bunch of projects building on this l1 so definitely have a look at ton but like i said it is much more of a bigger company than these other ones doesn't mean it's not going to go up it doesn't mean it's going to go down it just means that there is a very high valuation for ton but again we're talking about a massive user base in telegram's users so definitely continue watching it as it has shown a whole lot of strength in the recent days now moving on and talking about another ai coin we have seen ai coins do very well recover very well from the may 1st dip we have aioz here sitting at 80 cents right around a one billion dollar market cap if we take a look at its daily chart well what do we see once again we have that 100 ema moving average that is doing very well in terms of support we've seen it tested back on the first dip of april 30th we also see it back on may 1st so what do we see well in my opinion if we do get another crash on bitcoin well we could potentially see aioz go around 60 cents test that moving average once again but ultimately where we are right now you know in this range of 80 cents to even 60 cents i believe that this is going to continue hovering here we did try and break above it so you do have some resistance here or support at around 80 cents right now if we break on the lower side here we could see aioz just continue to consolidate here as this 100 day ema continues to crawl up here we could see it continue to act as support and then as aioz's price continues to bounce on this well then we could see another upside on aioz but definitely one to watch here because again if we take a look at what happened on may 1st well we had a massive dip went all the way down to 55 cents and from 55 cents well it went all the way back up to about 90 cents again a gain of a roughly 60 percent so another one that has bounced very nicely from the lows literally just a week and a half ago now switching gears and talking about an rwa project that should be on your watch list we have ondo here at a 1.1 billion dollar market cap this one hasn't done much even as we are seeing dips so if we just take a look at this chart here over the last month it's relatively flat 
And we can see here that on May 1st, well, we don't really have that big of a dip. It may have gone to about 70 cents, but quickly thereafter, it went back to 80 cents and it even went all the way to almost 90 cents. So another one that has recovered very well. We know that BlackRock is heavily invested in RWA asset tokenization, Ondo being one of the leaders in that space. Definitely one to watch for any dips because if we take a look at its performance, well, it has done very, very well ever since we've seen the RWA narrative start blowing up. So definitely one to keep an eye out for the RWA space. And lastly, I wanted to quickly highlight Superverse in the gaming world of things. So we're looking at a $500 million company. We are looking at, again, another one that bounces really well after crypto dips. So if we take a look at what happened on May 1st, well, we see that Superverse went right around 84 cents. It quickly bounced up to about a dollar and even at a peak of a dollar ten just yesterday. And right now it's sitting at around one dollar. Now, taking a quick look at a super's chart, well, what we can see here is that we are below this 100 day EMA. So this is going to act as resistance as we are seeing over the last few days. We haven't been able to break above it. I do believe we are going to need, you know, a push on Bitcoin, a push on the volume to push the price of a super back above this $1 mark and hold it. But I do believe that, you know, if we are able to do that, then Superverse is definitely going to trend upwards. But again, if we go with the same narrative that, you know, Bitcoin continues to fall, through its levels of support well we could definitely see super go back to around this 80 cent range which has been acting as a support recently so another one to keep on your watch list for the gaming narrative but with all of that being said we have a whole lot of different coins that we can talk about these are the ones that i wanted to highlight here because they have bounced tremendously well from the may 1st dip when Bitcoin went to about 56,500, keep those on your watch list because if we do see another crash on Bitcoin, we break below 60,000. Watch for these levels on these coins. Of course, there are different coins that are going to bounce as well, but these are the ones I wanted to highlight in this video. So let me know your thoughts on these. Definitely bullish on AI, on RWA, on gaming as well. Let me know what you are bullish on and if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.